Did you think I would forget you? Tell me, where did we go so <laughs> If you're wondering what that was, that was a recreation of a clip that just shows how strong Trooper is when he's able to immediately get on the battlefield and immediately kill the team and then immediately allow his team to regroup and then fight back all together. He's the ultimate solo player as well as a great support, both at once. So you want to play Trooper, huh? The most mobile class if you play it right, and the most strongest class if you play it right, just overall class and you need to learn how to play properly. You may think that he might be the best class in the game because splash damage, high damage output, and you're not wrong. There are so many different things that you have to learn before you can truly say that you've mastered this class. Now just like any other class, Trooper is also a great surprise attacker. You know, you can get behind enemy lines and slowly kill each and every single one of them and if they don't know how to react then it's not gonna end well for them and it's gonna end really well for you with a three kill streak under your belt your team has three less people to deal with and you're just overall happy that you didn't die like an idiot in the process splash damage is one of the greatest things that trooper is blessed with as you can hit targets without hitting direct shots although hitting direct shots it's more damage and it's better. However, rocket jumping, now that's something Trooper truly needs to be one of the best classes in the game. It's fun, you can get directly to the enemy team and even flank has it at- Oh, oh, wait, wait, no, 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 wrong, wrong clip, wait, how about, no, wait, this clip doesn't work either. Now again, this rocket jumping isn't perfect, you have to learn how it works. And you know, master it. However, splash damage included, but rocket jumping is just kind of painful, especially without something like the rocket jumper or the gunboats. You take way too much damage while rocket jumping, like 50 damage per rocket jump. And that and that's just unfair. Also, yeah, you're you're gonna need to learn how to like use splash damage to your advantage and not to your disadvantage because my god, does this thing go really far when it comes to the hitbox of the rocket and you're gonna die a lot also rocket jumping isn't perfect again I will say because again the amount of damage you can take from it however once you learn how to use the rocket launcher to rocket jump you're gonna have one of the best times of your life you're gonna be flying across the map and then killing enemies or hitting them and then just fly away if they even try to think about shooting you. And of course, there's, you know, self damage, but there's health kits all over the map. You can easily get your health back. And if you pair up with a shotgun and you realize that, oh, I'm out of ammo because I rocket jumped, just use your shotgun. Your shotgun's good, man. Come on. Rocket jumping is amazing. Heck, you can just use rocket jump to terrorize that one sniper. Speaking of which, splash damage may be really powerful but there is a thing called direct hits where you use your rocket and then hit them directly to do maximum damage. It feels great when you hit it and there's even a weapon that's literally just, hey, you, you can only direct hit, so use it. And you're like, yeah, that's great. And also if you feel like, oh, splash damage isn't cutting it for me, and but I did hit it direct and I feel like I can't hit another shot. Then just combo it with the shotgun. You know, the shotgun is much easier to aim compared to the rocket launcher, and it's just overall much safer because there's no splash damage to hurt you. So, you know, maybe this is the best option a combo with both the rocket launcher and the shotgun instead of only using one? Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Honestly, running the stock shotgun with any rocket launcher would really be effective. 
Now, you might think, oh, well, I I'm get kind of getting bored of the stock loadout. You know, it's not fun. I keep on dying all the time, and I just... Every kill just seems like just splash damage and none of it feels amazing. Whoa, then my friend, you can change your loadout to the amazing rocket jumper loadout. Lose all your brain cells, rocket jump all over the map, and try and hit people with a shovel that glows. Unless, of course, you're in a confined area. I mean, if you still somehow hasn't figured out what I was talking about, I'm talking about a loadout called the Trojer. Equals the rocket jumper, which does no damage, which means that, oh, it doesn't do damage to itself either. So it's the perfect for rocket jumping practically infinitely than the man treads, which, you know, less blast force, but you know another thing? Whoa, I didn't know. You have air control, you can control your jumps much easier, and then the market garden, it's a shovel that glows when you're rocket jumping, and then you can kill people with it. I don't know. But anyways, this loadout is amazing. With this loadout, you can be flying across maps without ever worrying about your health. That's not for fall damage, of course. But if you chain your jumps, you're not going to take mostly no damage at all. And if you do it well enough, then you might not even take any damage at all. It's just overall just a really fun loadout, but it's definitely not a loadout that you can play competitively. Unless, of course, you're a literal god and you have never messed up a rocket jump in your life. And remember when I said that Trooper was a great support character as well? Basically what I mean is, it's kind of like protecting your children if you play a support trooper. Alright, so there are practically two kinds of Trooper players, one being the, you know, the solo one, and the other being the well, supportive role. So the first one would usually running like what stock, uh, aerial bomber, direct hit. Well, direct hits debatable, but you know these guys are the ones who just know how to rocket jump properly and will either rocket jump to the enemy team or sneak up on them or just go at them head first and then you know wipe out some of them. Now some of them might not be the best at doing so and maybe they're just solo because they have to because their team is gone or not there. But overall these guys are usually pretty good as again, rocket do a lot of damage, splash or direct, so. And then there's a the supportive role that play things like the battalion's backup and the whip, you know, to help their team. You know, these war what do you call them? The trumpets, I don't know. They're, they're just really good but you have to build them up so you know stay with your team to survive that long and then use it to well help your team so you've made it this far uh you've scratched the surface of what trooper truly can be i have only told you like the basics of what trooper can really be and this is what any random person would go hey yeah this is what you should know before going into the game. There are so many more things about Trooper that you need to learn, like the specific kinds of rocket jumping, or different loadouts, different weapons. Heck, I haven't even covered any of the weapons. Again! But that's because you need to go and practice, you need to go and play the class, and learn what it's like to play for yourself. These are only just quick tips and, you know, things talking about how these classes are going to be. So go out there, keep on practicing, keep on learning, and this is what it's like to learn to play Trooper. Ah, oh, thank you for watching this far, and I swear to god I'm sorry for whoever was waiting. This video was way too delayed and I spent way too much time procrastinating, but hey it's finally out, and at least I didn't take a freaking week to upload. So yeah, school's almost starting soon and... My upload probably will slow down to like once per week at most. So there's that. Anyways, uh, I guess again, I'll put this up in the air Discord server for anyone who wants to just hang out with me and whoever else was interested in joining. So, you know, there's, there's that. <sighs> I thought I'd enjoy making this video and for, for for the editing part and talking, yeah, yeah, actually, I did enjoy that. But oh my god, collecting footage was oh my, that was that that, that process was painful. Like the, the clip you're seeing right now, 
Heck, that was like a clip that I just randomly decided to collect and it turned out really, really well compared to, well, every other clip. So there's that. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. This was Now Studio speaking to you and we'll see you again next time. Bye.